So this video is showing how to import data into Soul 3D using data from the nationalmap.gov. The first thing you want to do is go grab the data. So you can either pick um, a box or you can do the current extents. And then once you figure out the area that you want, you can hit the Find Products button. Uh, but before you do that, you just want to pick which elevation data that you want. Uh, here it shows you the the data that's available. You can pick the format. So I'm going to do shape files. And then you can also do it for the other values here. Um, so I'm just going to pick LAS for the elevation source data. And then for the elevation products, I'm going to pick shape files. Then you click find products. It's going to show you the results. So I can come over here to elevation products. Uh, you can see what the values are, and then you can add uh, the values that you want. So I'm going to add this uh, item to the cart by hitting plus signs. And then you can also show um, this information. So it looks like there's some LiDAR point cloud data available. And so I'm just going to grab the items that are here. And then once I'm done, I can hit view cart. It's going to add all those items to my cart. And then I can choose to download them. And so I'm just going to save it here. And save all the other ones as well. So once the data is uploaded, we can then bring in the shape files. So I'm just going to go into Civil 3D and to create a surface from the shape files, we can just go up to surfaces and you can create a surface from GIS data. That starts out by asking you what type you want to create. Uh, it's going to give you the name and a description. You can then give it a style and then go to the next tab. Here you can choose the format. So I saved it as a shape. So then I'm going to just go grab that GIS data. So I have the elevation contour data there. And then once I go to the next tab, I can hit login to go grab the data. And so I'm going to select this one and then hit uh, next. Here you can define the area of interest. So you can narrow the data uh, based on the query and you can pick it in the drawing. And then on the next tab, you can uh, assign different values for elevation. So it looks like I want to assign elevation to the correct one. Whoops, it's right there. So contour elevation should be it. And then I can hit finish. And it's going to import that data. So once it's done, it'll give you a bunch of errors possibly. Uh, so I'm just going to close that. If I do zoom extents after it's imported in, it should show me the entire surface of Orange County. It looks like I need to put a boundary on it. So it's kind of important that you um, include a boundary on where your project's located at. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that it's uh, not very well drawn. And so it's created a surface from that GIS data. And if I look at the surface properties, I can see that it, it brought in the contour data. And then it uh, fills the gaps in there. And then it created a snapshot. Um, this looks like it's a little bit off, so I'd want to check my settings the next time I imported it in and try to bring it in in a smaller area. The general shape looks good. So you can also bring in uh, the, the LAS files. And I'm just going to create a brand new surface. And then for the LAS files, I can bring those in as a point cloud. So I can right click and create point cloud. 
uh, give it a name, give it uh, a style. And then on the next page, I can go grab the LAS files. So I can hit the little plus sign. I can go to where I stored it. I can go grab all of my files that I've grabbed or downloaded. Hit the little plus sign. It's going to go ahead and process them. Um, it's going to show me what the coordinate system is. And then I can hit next. Uh, here I can uh, review the information. And then I can hit finish. And it's going to go grab those and create it. And then it's going to process the data. And then once it's done, it's going to show me when it's done. So once it's done processing, it'll have a created point cloud. And you just click here to zoom to it. And then you can see that's the, the four quadrants or the four pieces of data that it created. In order to extract a surface from Civil 3D 2015, uh, you need to go download the productivity tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2015. And in there is the points list, which is the extraction. So you just click on that, it'll download. And then once it's downloaded, you need to install it. So I don't have it installed, so I'm gonna install it right now and then come back to this video. <coughs> All right, so I've downloaded it, the tool to extract a surface from a point cloud. Uh, once you run it, if you go to tool spot, toolbox, go to subscription extension manager, and then if you expand the Autodesk point cloud surface extraction, you can right click and execute. It's gonna ask you to select a point cloud Select it. Uh, you can also select it with a window. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, a crash. Awesome. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then try it again. All right, let's try this again. Let's see how many times we can crash it. All right, so I guess I'll try window again. Nice. Well, it looks like I won't be able to do this step because it just wants to crash. All right, but that's how you go, go about doing that steps, and hopefully it works better for you.